as my dad would say, measure twice, cut once. Just didn't work out, but it worked out. What's up with y'all? Um, GT Junior grows it, so I'm in the gar- in the greenhouse. Um, my son asked me to turn my hat around. I'm like, "Why?" He said, "You look cool. I'm born cool." <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna um, be building a something like a cold frame today. I already cut up the wood two by five. I mean, um, um, two and a half inches. Um, adjust for the width um, all that good jazz um, 70% off <laughs> that's how I shop so, um, alright let's get started here I'm just making um, like a quick diagram basically just, just to see how everything measures up you know for the most part you know to see what adjustments I need to make initially and then we'll you know do it for real for real i know that there's plenty of ways that i could have done this better um <laughs> but i was determined to go ahead and get it done um but my next curl cold frame will be better um i'm gonna do a lot of adjustments to this one and i'm gonna build another one the dream and the goal is to produce 40 to 60 percent of my food and with we with us having as short of a climate as we do for growing i have to um, make adjustments and since it is cold um, the possibility of growing leafy greens um, a couple of extra months you know extend my season has to be a reality um, layering is the primary focus that we that i will be focusing on with extending my growing season. This little handy saw, I bought this saw about three years ago off of Facebook Marketplace, it was brand new. There was no dust or anything, debris or anything inside of it. Um, so it was a good purchase, I only paid $40 for it. And it still lasts at the test of time. They say it was a completely little job with the um, thing that I have, I can, you know, what the things I'm working with, you know, I'm able to get in there with my cut so I can build. Yeah, I did not measure this well enough, as you see. <laughs> I'm trying to make it fit. Maybe if I push on it hard enough, it'll fit right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This other board that I'm attaching, I should have attached it earlier and used my clamps so that it would have made it more square, but I wasn't thinking. And on my next um, covered um, greenhouse that I'm going to be building I will make sure that I use this technique and I'll make sure that I put a slant to make it like a angle at the top because with a snow load um, you don't want it to sit on top you want it to be able to slide down the frame of the greenhouse and then I will be able to put double covering and then triple covering on this as well I have a lot of a lot that i'm going to be i'm investing as far as time on youtube to find the proper way to do this under triple and quadruple of cover because my object is to grow during some of the winter months and it's possible it's possible Hello, hello, hello. So we're back again. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be completing this project. I found the time, I found the energy. So yeah. It's, it's 
53. 53 degrees, we're at right here. Um, it feels colder. The windshield is astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you've been getting me good. <laughs> you heard the word I use? Astronomical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not recording? Huh? You're not recording? Yeah. It's not pointed at you, it's pointed at me. This right here. I can hear you. I thought you were in the garage. You said what? I didn't know you were out here. I thought you were in the garage. Yep. So, all I did is just put the um, I just put the cardboard down. And hey, baby, is that green cord hooked up to that yellow cord? Is the green cord hooked up to the yellow cord? Sing it with me. <laughs> Never mind, I can check right here. Uh -huh. yep. So we're just gonna have this light in here. But we're gonna drop the light down. It shields away a lot of the shields a lot of the the wind, and that's what we want to do. Okay, so we're gonna be making this cut. We was gonna install a door, but we was gonna I was gonna install a door. But um, I don't have, <laughs> I'm not hand, very handy with tools. So I took it this far. It's already um, not square or anything like that. So what I plan to do is just, you'll see. So as you see here, this is just some, um, I guess, insulation. Um, I bought it from... Um, one of the local um, big box stores and I'm just placing this to try to shield some of that cold air out and the the heat that the light um, produces I'm trying to uh, keep that inside as much as possible and I think that this will do the job I'm not exactly sure but I'm trying and that's that's the name of the game. Keep trying till you get it right. It was only 19 bucks to buy this and I think it's gonna serve the purpose pretty well. So, <clears throat> I already cut this to size and now I'm just stapling so that they can retain some of that air. I mean, retain some of that um, heat. Hopefully, um, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying. <laughs> it sounds smart. Hey, let's keep the heat inside. Yeah, because I have the um, 20 by 20 um, heat mat that's going to be inside. Um, that's going to generate heat. In the actual plants and the lights and the cover. I think that it will serve a great purpose. So all I'm doing is just putting the inside in. And, and now let's... <laughs> Uh, go ahead and flip this around and we're gonna put the other side and as I'm putting the other side I'm also thinking about okay if I do decide that I want to put a door on here or some kind of um, thing to where I can enclose it and you know that type of jazz um, I want to remove this part right here and I just add whatever I need to add later so yeah that's what I'm doing
And if I want even more rigidity, I could just take this. But um, I think that how I have it now is going to be sufficient enough. So let's get this. See, I'm just stapling this down, trying to get it a little bit more airtight. Um, what I did to this side is what I'm doing to the other side, just increasing the folds. Um, this is not a great design for Alaska, reason being that the snow load in Alaska will be too much for this to actually serve the purpose that I actually want, which is for me to grow um, more in the winter for leafy greens since there is a chill factor here in Alaska. So when I rebuild this, which, you know, is only going to take a few minutes, I'm just going to put the at a slant. I'm going to put it at a slant and that will serve a better purpose for this actual design. Just in case I want to add a door. I'm gonna just double this up. Then I knew it. GT to the rescue. It looks bad, but it works overly. <laughs> okay, so we have that. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna So I just took a quick measurement to see if I double up if this would be um, long enough. Um, that's all I needed to do. This is six mil greenhouse plastic. Um, it insulates better. So that's the reason why I'm choosing to use this. Um, if you double and triple the layering of this, it serves a great purpose. So what I'm doing here is I'm just stapling this. Um, it is straight, the camera is just lopsided right now. <laughs> I didn't notice this until I actually seen the video. So um, I'm not gonna take it all the way down because I wanna be able to get plants in and out, but I still wanna serve. Um, the whole purpose of doing this is to retain the heat. So that's what I'm doing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the middle, and if I decide that I'm gonna put a fan in here, because I am thinking about ventilation as well, if I wanna put a fan in here, my option is I can still open this side up. So.
So I think this is going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a monitor of this and see how it does without the, without, I'm going to see how good it does without the um, blanket. Um, I have a thermal blanket like I did with my, at my job. This is what I did. Well. I'm gonna see how it works without it because I don't want the, the plants to overheat and I know it's insulated a little, little bit so just gonna monitor the temperatures and see if it's necessary I doubt that it's necessary um, and I give you an update all right there see you on the next one drop that beat